This next election is going to come down to three issues. Jobs, freedom, and security. Let's start with jobs. I want to take a minute to talk to all the single moms who are here, who are working two and three part-time jobs, who have seen your hours forcibly reduced to 28, 29 hours a week because Obamacare kicks in at 30 hours a week. I want to talk to all the truck drivers, all the plumbers and mechanics, all the steel workers and union members, all the men and women with calluses on your hands, who've seen wages stagnating year after year after year. The cost of living keeps going up, yet somehow your paycheck doesn't seem to keep pace. I want to talk to all the young people who are coming out of school, student loans up to their eyeballs, scared. Can I get a job? What's my future hold? And you know, the mainstream media, they try to tell us this is the new normal. This is as good as it gets. No way. Well, as the people of Pennsylvania know, that is an utter lie. You know, it's easy to talk about making America great again. You can even print that on a baseball cap. <laughs> but the real question is, do you understand the principles and values that made America great in the first place? <laughs> the heart of our economy isn't Washington, D.C. The heart of our economy is small businesses all across the United States. And if you want to unleash the economy, you lift the boot off the back of the necks of small businesses. You know, Ronald Reagan and JFK before him both understood that when you cut taxes and lift regulations on small businesses, the result is millions and millions of new high-paying jobs. JFK and Reagan. If I'm elected president, we will repeal every word of Obamacare. that makes health insurance personal and portable and affordable and keeps government from getting in between us and the back. And we're gonna pass a simple flat tax. fill out our taxes on a postcard. 